Hi everyone, my name is Natalie. Today I want to do the June announcement for Invisible Cities. So if you don't know what that is, it is a reading project where we encourage uh, all of you to join us in reading the world. Three countries at a time. I will leave all of the relevant information in the description below. Feel free to ask if there's anything uh, that is unclear to you. Uh, but the basic gist is that we choose three countries each month that we will be reading from and we always announce the countries two months in advance so you have the time to track down books you want to read. So uh, today I wanted to announce the three countries for June which are Lebanon, Barbados and Mo Mozambique. So for Mozambique, the book that I have my eye on to potentially read is Sea Loves Me by Mia Coteau. This is a short story collection and it says from early stories that reflect the harshness of life under Portuguese colonialism to magical tales of rural Africa to contemporary fables of the fluidity of race and gender, environmental disaster and the clash between the countryside and the city. Uh, so the thing that really drew me to this collection is both the magical real realism aspect of it as well as the nature theme that seems to be uh, an important theme running through a lot of the short stories um, and you know that I uh, love my nature writing so and the translators for Sea Loves Me is David Brookshaw and Eric M. B. Becker. Next I have a potential read for Barbados. So June is also um, Caribbean, which is a readathon all about reading Caribbean literature. And so that fits perfectly of course with uh, our choice for Bar Barbados. That I think is run by Karen Run Runwright. I will link her channel below. Uh, and I really wanted to participate in Caribbean last year and didn't. So I'm glad to have an excuse to do that this year uh, with this, this sort of overlap. So the book that I have my eye on for potentially for Barbados is Redemption in Indigo by Karen Lord. And this seems to be a magical realism fantasy kind of story. So it says, a clever contemporary fairy tale, masterful magical retelling of an African folk tale set in a fresh, surprising and utterly original world. Sounds interesting. And in general, when I'm looking for books for Invisible Cities, I'm definitely keen to get some variation in the genre and the types of book I'm books I'm picking up. Uh, so this one sounds like a very a very much sort of off the beat of the books I've been reading for Invisible Cities so far. And then we have Lebanon. The book I have uh, my eye on is Gedi and Rawan by Fatima Sharafid Fadina and Samar Mafuz Berai, uh, translated by Sawad Hussein and M. Lynx Quali. So that's quite a cast for just creating this book, uh, two translators and two authors. And this seems to be, it's uh, on Goodreads, is categorized as YA. The novel follows the close-knit friendship of two Lebanese teenagers, Gadi who lives with his family in Belgium and Rawan who lives in Lebanon. Gadi's family travels every summer to Beirut where Gadi gets to spend all his time with Rawan and their other friends enjoying their freedom from school. During the rest of the year, he and Rawan keep in touch by email. Through this correspondence, we learn about the daily ups and downs of their lives in Brussels and Beirut, including Gadi's homesickness and his struggles with racism at school, as well as Rawan's changing relationship to her family. The novel's the novel offers a glimpse into the lives of Lebanese adolescents while exploring a range of topics relevant to young people everywhere. Bullying, parental conflict, racism, belonging and identity, and peer pressure. So it just sounds like a uh, perfectly uh, sort of a, a novel that explores important themes and heavier themes but also has um, more of a uh, human drama center to it, uh, which is pretty much what I'm looking for. I'm trying to avoid books that can only talk about conflicts or war or that kind of thing, um, because that is a lot of the things that you get from the impression you get from these countries uh, in news and things like that, especially in the West. So I'm actively trying to search for something different um, and to get a different perspective on the countries. So that was all I wanted to say for this June announcement of Invisible Cities. I would love to know if you have any ideas of what you would like to read for these countries or if uh, you've been enjoying your Invisible Cities reading so far. I hope you're well and you're taking care of yourselves and I'll talk to you soon.